Hello everyone and welcome to our lesson for today. For today's lesson, we will be doing the first part of getting to know letters. So let's get started. Materials. All you need for our lesson today is just your thinking cap. So let's get our brains ready. We have two learning targets for our lesson today. The first target says, I can follow along in a shared poem or text. The second target says, I can identify the name and sound for the letters K and Y. Read aloud. Today, we are going to read a poem. When I read through the poem, I want you to notice each word as I read through it. Listen and follow along as I read our poem. Kangaroo went out to play, jumping up and down all day. Yak wanted to jump up too, but all he could do was stay there glued. Yak looked down at his feet. His face turned red like a beet. Up jumped Kangaroo in the park. Yak stayed still and watched till dark. Did you hear any rhyming words in our poem? I did too. I heard the words play and day, to and do, feet and beat, park and dark. Nice work. <laughs> Sounds. This is a picture of a kangaroo. The sound that we hear at the beginning of the word kangaroo is the k sound. Can you say that sound after me? K. Yes, nice work. The name of this letter is K. I wonder if we can think of some words that begin with the letter K and make the K sound. Can you think of some? I thought of some words too. I thought of the words kite, key, and king. All of these words begin with the letter K and make the K sound, just like in kangaroo. This picture is the picture of a yak. The yak makes the y sound and it begins with the letter Y. Can you make the y sound too? Nice job. Y is the letter that we see and it's the sound that we hear at the beginning of the word yak. I wonder if we can think of some more words that begin with the letter Y and make the Y sound, just like in the word yak. Can you think of some more words? I thought of some too. I thought of the words yarn, yo-yo, and yoga. Nice work with your Y words and sound. We're going to use the word kangaroo to help us remember the k sound for the letter K. And we're going to use the yak to help us remember the y sound for the letter Y. Let's practice our letter chant for these letters for K and Y. I want you to repeat them after me. Ready? K, k, kangaroo. K, k, kangaroo. Y, y, yak. Y, y, yak. Nice work with the letter sound chant. Writing. This is an uppercase K. Let's practice skywriting our letters and using our arm like a pencil. I want you to watch me first and then we'll practice together. Watch as I write the uppercase K. I'm going to start at the headline, drag my finger all the way down 
to the foot line. And then I'm gonna come up to the belly line and make a slant going back up to the head line. Then I'm gonna come back to the belly line and make a slant going down to the foot line. Now try it with me. Starting at the head line, drag our fingers all the way down to the foot line, come up to the belly line, push up at a slant to the head line, then come back to the belly line and push down as a slant to our foot line. And we've made our uppercase K. Now let's make the lowercase k. Watch first. I'm starting at the head line. I'm gonna drag my finger down to the foot line. I'm gonna come back up to the belly line and I'm gonna make a little slant and then push back out and make another little slant and go down to the foot line. Now try it with me. Starting up at the head line dragging our finger down to the foot line, coming back up to the belly line, making a little slant, coming to touch the line, and then another little slant out and coming down to touch the foot line. And we've made our lowercase k. Now let's practice writing our uppercase y. Watch first. I'm going to start at the head line I'm gonna slant down to the belly line and push back up to the head line and then come back to the belly line and push down to the foot line. Now let's try together. Starting at the head line, slant down to the belly line, push back up to the head line, then come to the belly line and make a straight line down to the foot line. Now it's time for the lowercase y. Watch first. I'm going to start this time at the belly line. Slant it down to the foot line. Come back up to the belly line and slant down the other way past the foot line going to the tail line. Now try with me. Coming to the belly line, slant down, touching the foot line, then coming back up to the belly line and slanting all the way down past the foot line to the tail line. Nice job. We've just made our uppercase and lowercase letters, our K and Y. Nice work, skywriting. Closing reflection. Let's reflect on our lesson. When we see the letter K, how can we remember the sound it makes? Yes, think of the keyword kangaroo and the k sound, and that will help us remember the sound for the letter K. We've met K and Y. In the next lesson, we'll get to know them even better and learn how to write them with pencil and paper. Thanks for joining me today as we practice writing some new letters and learning them, K and Y, and listening to a new poem. I hope you learned a lot, and I will see you next time. Bye.